All right, welcome. We are going to learn how to create a on shape assembly that converts. Um, well, in this case, I've chosen rotary to linear motion. Um, if you go to public and type in rotary to linear motion and do a search, you should be able to find this assembly to start out with. It'll give you the parts necessary to create uh, this right here. And so um, we are going to be converting rotary to linear motion. Um, in an actual VEX build, you're going to need uh, more components to uh, make this stable and make this work. But for this activity and to uh, make it as simple as possible and on shape, uh, we are going to use uh, these bare components or these base components. Um, to animate this, I'm going to right click on this Revolute 3 here and click on animate. Um, and then I'm going to uh, reciprocate it. I think if I, based on how I assembled this initially, I found that I need to start at like negative 720 and go up to zero. And to slow it down, I need to add more steps. Um, but it should look something like this when you're done. Converting rotary motion into linear motion. Okay. So let's go ahead and jump right in. Uh, this was not an easy one for me. I am not an on-shape pro. Um, I uh, don't even really even use 3D modeling software all that often um, in my line of work. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and uh, walk you through this um, after I've you know gone through it myself. Hopefully, I remember all the steps I took, so we'll find out. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start off by adding my racks my rack gears to uh, the C channel. Uh, there is a linear slide motion kit that comes in your VEX kit that you could use uh, for a physical build. For this on shape um, assembly, I do not have uh, linear motion kits in my library, um, but I also didn't search the public library. I'm sure it's out there um, in the VEX public library or the on shape public library rather. So I'm gonna go ahead and do a fasten mate. I am going to select the center of that or that circle there, and I'm going to line it with this right here. I'm gonna rotate it. Beautiful, perfect. Not gonna think about it too hard. Um, I am going to also do a fasten mate. This one here, and I'm gonna put that the center of this one holding the shift key again, grab that, rotate it. Wrong way, rotate it, there we go, beautiful, okay? Then what I'm going to do is I am going to create a slide mate, uh, which is slider mate here. And I'm gonna go ahead and select this face here. And I've got this origin point in my assembly. I'm gonna hover over that, I'm gonna hold the shift key and I'm gonna snag this axis here. I'm going to hit okay. And what it allows me to do is now slide that left and right on that axis, beautiful. Okay, now what I wanna do is I wanna create a rotary mate or revolute mate between my uh, shaft and my gear. So I'm gonna go ahead and select the center of that. Beautiful. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and click OK. Um, right now, I can slide it left or right. Can't really revolute it, but I can go ahead and animate. Let me see if that works. That just animates that. Um, let me double check to ensure that I've done that properly. Let me redo that. Revolute. Let me try one more time. I think it's correct, but you never know. Let me make sure. It's like that there. With that there. Click OK. Oh, I did the wrong one. Must be late or early, whichever way you look at it. Revolute, mate. That face there. With that center there, click OK. I'm going to animate this. 
Now, I'm not sure why this is not moving with it. I cannot recall if that's how my other one worked. Let me double check and go back. Let's try this one here. All right, so this one, let me animate this. Okay, seems, seems to be uh, behaving the same way. That time the gear was rotating. Let's run with it, see what happens, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and now do a revolute mate between the center of this and the center of this. Holding shift allows me to grab that middle point. Boom, beautiful. Hit the okay, there we go. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a revolute mate between the center of this and my origin here, and I'm going to offset it up just a little bit. Now, I'm not sure if this is the best way to go about this, but it's the way that I found to work with for me. I, again, I have no official on-shape training. So I'm going to do revolute mate between that. And I'm going to select this. And notice as I select the axes here, it shows a circle that aligns with. And since my shaft, I want it to align with this circle here. I'm going to select this one. That looks OK. I think I can flip it. Let's do that. OK, there we go. Now, it's kind of in the middle of my components here. So I think what I can do is I can double click on this and I can maybe do an offset of, let's look at it from the back side. Oh, you know what I want to do? This one only allows me to move it inward or outward. I can actually move it inward just a little bit. Let me do point two. Let's see what that does. It's almost got it centered. But on this slider one, I think what I want to do is offset this. Notice I can slide this in the X and Y position, and I want to slide this in the Y position. So let me look at this from the back. I want to slide this in the X position, I mean. Let me bring this down, negative 0.25, see what happens. I'm going to click OK. And as you can see, I can see more of my gear now. Let me try this again. Let me try negative 0.5. A little bit better. Let's run with that, see what happens, shall we? Okay, I'm going to use the on shape rack and pinion relation. To use this, I had to create the slide feature or the slide mate feature. And I also had to create the revolute for this entire thing here. So what I'm gonna do is select rack and pinion relation here. And I'm gonna, it's asking me which mates do I wanna select? Well, I'm gonna select my slider mate and I'm gonna select my last revolute mate that I did. Um, there is some math you can perform here um, in terms of the distance per revolution but uh, that would require me to know the diameter of this. Um, but for the sake of this video, I'm going to go ahead and just hit the check mark and see what happens. Now I'm going to right click this and hit animate. This is where I've placed my rack and pinion. I'll, again, I'll change this to a thousand. So slow it down a little bit so you can see what's happening. Uh, I'll hit play. Oh kind of off my rack and pinion. So what I can do is I can change this like I did before. And again, not uh, on shape pro by any means. So it just brought it back just a wee bit. Um, there you go. I'm not happy with that actually, let me stop. Let me exit that out. I'm going to go to my slider. I'm going to rotate this to the backside again. 
And I'm gonna bring this negative 0.5 up just a little bit to negative 0.5. Let's try 5.3. I'm gonna hit okay. I'm gonna slide this. That looks better. Okay, let's go ahead and play with this again. And I animate this. What I probably could do is let me go to my slider. Uh, that slides. In the Z direction. I don't want that. Well, let me go ahead and animate this. Again, negative 720. I'll go zero. I'll do a thousand steps. There we go. Professional Onshape user could probably figure out what's going on there just a little bit, but uh, for a beginner Onshape user, I am happy with uh, creating this rotary to linear motion. So um, feel free to try it out. Um, if you have a better way to do it, more power to you, and I hope you share. Thank you. Have a great rest of the day.